Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hackstruder here. In the previous video, we have solved this SQL injection union attack determines the number of columns returned by the query. So now in this lab, we are going to solve this SQL injection union attack finding a column containing text. Okay. So, okay. Let me get in and then I will explain you. I have opened it in a new tab. So SQL injection attack finding a column containing text. This lab contains an SQL injection vulnerability in the product category filter. That's okay. The results from the query are returned in the application's response. So you can use a union attack to retrieve the data from other databases. To construct such an attack, you first need to determine the number of columns returned by the query. So this thing we already did. In our previous lab, we can do that again. Okay. The next step is to identify a column that is compatible with string data. This is, you know, the something the next, the next step, what we need to do. The lab will provide a random value that you need to make appear within the query result. To solve the lab, perform an SQL injection union attack that returns an additional row containing the value provided. This technique helps you to determine which columns are compatible with string data. Okay. How we will do this attack. So here it is clearly explained. So the result from the queries are returned in the application's response. So you can use a union attack to retrieve data from other database, other tables. So uh, basically when a query is sent, so the query will return data from only one uh, table. But when we use the word union in that query, then it can be like it can uh, bring the data from other tables and and you know you can it can mix the result from the existing query and the additional query whatever which we want to give. So it can mix it, it can mix the, both the things. So that is how it happens. So for that first thing we need to know how many columns. Uh, does it return when uh, with the existing query? So that is the first thing which we have already done in the last lab. So let us quickly get in and let us see how many columns are there. Uh, this looks like we have three columns already. Okay, let me hit on gifts just like that. So here also one, two, three. We already know that we have three columns. So in the last lab, we have solved these using union select null, but in this lab, let me solve with a different one. Okay. If you can see this order by, so this way also we can solve. So this will order by the first column. This will order by the second column and this will order by the third column. What if we give order by four as the column is not there it is going to return an error for us. Okay. Let me show you that once. Just like that. Order by. Uh, already we know we have one, two, three rows in this, but let me put it, put four. And just like that. See, we got an internal server error as this fourth column is not there and we are trying to order this by let me try with three see we got the result now because we have the third column available with us in this particular response so that is how we can uh, check obviously now we know how many columns we have but to check uh, the data type of each and every uh, a column we definitely need that union attack only. Okay. Let me type in as union. Union. Sorry. Uh, select. Null. Comma. Null. Comma. Null. And plus. It is optional plus here. Okay. Let me hit enter. So yeah. This one is also the successful one. We found that there are three columns in this 
as the three uh, if we keep three nulls the the response was successful okay uh, now let us replace this first null with the letter a okay the letter a just like this in this way and hit enter internal server error this means the first column did not satisfy the uh, data type of this particular value which we have given so what is the data type here this is a string right uh, okay let me type in null back here and now we will go for the second column and we will type in the string and hit enter okay see we got that and we got that value as a but if you see here let me zoom in just like that but if you see here this is the first column this is the second column this is the third column we saw but unfortunately here we can see the first column is not the data type and second column this means the the columns which we have use here which we imagine that this is for this column this a is for this and this null third null is for this column is completely wrong okay so we need to place the string in each and every column and we need to check uh, okay now let us also put null here and let us keep this a here okay and hit enter see the third column does not contain is not of this uh, what do we say uh, string okay first column so null and here the second null should be replaced with string a okay so i think the lab, lab is not solved let me see why uh it returns an additional row the technique helps you to determine okay uh to solve the lab perform an sql action that returns an additional yeah, the value provided okay contains the value provided uh, okay making the database retrieve the string so this is the string that we need to you know display here in order to port speaker understand that we have solved this lab and let me hit enter yo yes we have solved this and we have replaced it with this string and here as you can see that string appears here okay so in the coming lab the most advanced and the interesting topic is going to come and why we are you will understand why we are uh, doing all these things why we are finding how many columns why we are finding the string uh, uh, sorry the data type of particular column and why why do we want to match those things so you will get to know all these things okay anyhow uh, thank you have a great day let us meet in the next lab